Okay, thank you. Um, so we had a meeting yesterday of the uh, user involvement group, and this meeting focused on a, uh, a very specific topic, uh, which you see there, measuring engagement, usage, and impact of Claren in the humanities and social sciences. Um, and I think this is a very important issue uh, for all of us, not just the people who are in the meeting or people who uh, have a specific role in uh, user engagement in, your, in all of the uh, Claren um, consortia. Um, and the questions we wanted to, uh, to try to address were um, how can we collect information more effectively uh, about our engagements with researchers? Um, in particular, we, need to, we felt we needed to address problems of a, a current lack of effective procedures for collecting that information in a timely and comprehensive way, um, but also lack of um, procedures for sharing our experiences having uh, effective mechanisms for sharing know-how and expertise, um, which involves tips and tricks on things that have worked well, and, um, uh, but also things that didn't work so well. Um, right. okay. And uh, it was a productive meeting, I think, and we came out with um, uh, lots of action points uh, for lots of people to, uh, to act on. And again, these aren't just for people who are in the, in the meeting. I think it would be good if everybody um, uh, takes these things serious, seriously. We decided there's a short-term priority to actually make it easier to, to report things. So what we're talking about here is uh, reporting to the centre, to the Clarin Eric, uh, when you've carried out some kind of uh, activity which involves engagement with users. So we're going to create a new uh, form for that and make sure everybody can see the results of it so everybody can easily see straight away all the things that are going on. Um, we'll have some deadlines four times a year for this lightweight reporting. Uh, and we'll also share summaries of the, of the activities within the group, and these can, these can be shared more widely uh, across the Clarin uh, networks. Uh, and there's actually a, a, some short-term actions that we have. We really need to um, improve our current data collection for 2016. Uh, as Benta said this morning, we have got reports of um, some 130 activities already. Uh, there's probably, I think, there's, I've already heard about some other things that haven't been reported yet, but we also need to uh, enrich these existing entries. We, in every case, we don't know the number of participants, what disciplines were involved, where reports are, etc. Um, and we're also, as well as this kind of uh, uh, bean counting exercise, we'd like to hear some more you know, narrative success stories about um, uh, what's going on. Um, we identified some things that um, the Clarin, uh, Clarin Eric can do and needs to do um, in collaboration with many of you uh, to review our um, social media strategy to see if we can do that more effectively and whether that uh, is likely to be effective in reaching more uh, potential users. Um, we're going to share more information about the user involvement contacts in each country just to help uh, the exchange of information within our, within our networks and also consider some ways of having more um, face-to-face -face meetings, which we think could be particularly useful for uh, telling each other what didn't work very well. People, uh, as somebody said in the meeting, you know, a lot of people are perhaps unwilling to write down um, uh, their failures, but uh, might, t might tell each other about it over a, uh, over a drink. Um, what you can do for Clarin, well, we'd really like to encourage everybody to, um, first of all, get a clearer idea of what are the activities that you carry out, which are Clarin activities, which engage with users, and which you want to tell people about. Um, part of the problem is that people, um, a lot of the people involved in Clarin do things with different hats on, and it's not always entirely clear when you're doing a Clarin activity, whether the services or the, that you provide or the events that you run are really Clarin things. So I think it would be really useful if everybody has a think about that and identifies clearly what are the activities that you do, which are Clarin activities, in which it's necessary for you to, to report so we can gather information about what's happening across uh, all of the network. Um, please make sure somebody in your country is, is going to meet the quarterly deadlines for reporting your user-related activities. Um, and also, we just want to encourage everybody to do a bit more marketing and publicity um, for your activities. You know, tell the stories to everybody about how you've worked with researchers uh, and how Clarin has made an impact. So this can mean making videos, um, sharing slides from presentations, uh, writing blog posts, um, sharing reports, etc. So please you know, write these things down, share them, and the ERIC can help to uh, promote them and uh, spread the information more widely. 
Um, and finally, um, do please respond to the forthcoming uh, call for workshops, uh, which will be coming soon. This will be um, another round of Clarin funded workshops. And these can be used for user oriented activities. We're particularly keen to encourage that. Either workshops for us to get together to plan events or the events themselves, which bring in and uh, um, give us contacts with uh, researchers in different disciplines. Uh, so please look out for that um, for that workshop or that call for workshop proposals. Okay, that's everything I wanted to say about the uh, about the meeting. Uh, I'm going to say something about the Clarin Bazaar as well. In a few minutes, the Clarin Bazaar will start downstairs. If you have a stall at the bazaar and you haven't been down there yet, don't worry. You can just turn up at the beginning, find a space for yourself and start selling your wares, whether they're... Uh, some of you may now recognise the picture that's been on the website all year. It's the Place Richelle, the daily market here in Aix-en-Provence. Um, so we've got um, a number of stalls here. Um, many of you will, will have um, attended the event last year. Uh, for those of you that haven't or are unclear what it's, what it's all about, it's a chance for people to... Um, uh, to, to pitch their ideas and show their wares in a more informal setting than a, than a poster or a, a presentation. Um, so people have been encouraged to come along and talk about their work in progress, uh, to give demos, uh, to look for collaborators, uh, to pitch ideas. And this year also we've got some people from some external projects from outside of Clarin who are going to uh, be there. So do go around, talk to people there. Uh, you won't have time to talk to everybody, but the information about all of these um, that's half of them. There's the other half. Um, it's four. Sorry? Four slides. Oh, right, okay. Oh, right, yes, yeah, sorry, it's been split further. Okay, um, yeah, so don't worry, you don't have to take all of this in. The full list is there uh, in, as you go into the room. Um, uh, there's one missing. Chris Cherry from the LDC uh, is going to be uh, is going to be there as well. Um, but if you don't get a chance to talk to everybody, uh, the list is on the website, including the longer description uh, and the contact details that people have provided. Um, so, when uh, after the event, do go and have a look at the website. It's it's um, linked from the the conference program. Uh, and if you spot uh, something interesting there, do get in touch with the uh, with with the people involved. Okay, that's enough for me. Thank you.